Hey guys, what's up? This is Bharat and welcome back to another video on Tech Matrix. And today we're going to be checking out the Nightscape mode on the OS stock camera app versus the Night Sight mode on the Pixel camera app and also probably some portrait mode features on both the apps and see how good they are. Let's dive into it. Guys, if this is your first time here and like such videos and giveaways, click the subscribe button and hit that bell icon to get notified for all the upcoming giveaways. Alright guys, so let me keep it brief and short. I'll open up first the OxygenOS camera app and uh, next also the Google Pixel camera port app. I'll leave the links in the description. Just download it, put it on your phone, install it as an APK and that's pretty much it. You will have the port. You don't need root or any other files uh, to make this work. So the Pixel port is pretty good right now and uh, you know, it's still in development so they might not be all the features that are present but uh, the features that work well are uh, really good so let's go to the first uh, night mode on the oxygen os stock camera app uh, this is pretty simple and basic you get timer on top you can change it from 3 5 and 10 seconds and you get the aspect ratio change 16 is to 9 or even 1 is to 1 aspect ratio um, to use on instagram and so on I'll keep it to four is to three and you also get the face retouching basically um, you get a slider here and yeah and also you get an autofocus ring when you click so basically you get an autofocus and also the exposure ring which is gonna increase decrease based on what you do here and that's pretty much it you get a basic uh, modes on the night mode now let's go to the pixel camera app and in this you get a lot of modes but a uh, few are not working so don't try it out yet so let's go into the night mode and you get a zoom function here and you basically you know just have a slider here wherein you can move the slider up and down and so basically you get this uh, timer here on top which is 3 and 10 seconds and also you get a autofocus yes this is a really cool feature i think oxygen os uh, camera app should have this um, you know because when you use it to shoot nighttime photography there's going to be a lot lesser light and your focus rings might not work that well so that is near and a far focus which is fixed so you can basically focus easily with this camera app and uh, also you have zoom function which is cool and that's pretty much it it's also basic you don't have uh, very pro settings on the nightscape or on the night sight mode and uh, the the main important thing is uh, going to the oxygen os camera right now um going to the night mode this takes a lot of time currently they say that it's uh, going to take the shot in two seconds um, but really when um, I'm capturing it right now, it's actually shooting at two seconds. But when I actually show you the footage that I shot, um, if you can see it on the screen right here, it takes a lot uh, more time, sometimes even five, six seconds. So you will have to hold your phones very still till you get that neat shot. And uh, even the optimization time, uh, like you see here after every shot is occurred, It says capture completed, optimizing. This also takes a lot of time at times. Um, this time it worked very well, probably because the you know the, there is a lot of light here, so it worked well. But in general, it kind of uh, um, you know it's still a beta application for me. I um, mean, there's a lot of improvements needed. And uh, in the night mode on the Google camera app, it kind of does it in you know probably a half a second here. And there's no optimization. So the first photo that I'm going to show you is uh, on a standard mode. You can see that there is a lot of noise and uh, the lighting is also not that uh, well captured because it's, uh, you know, it's going to take a shutter speed of uh, very fast shutter speed. So you, you're not going to get a lot of light in it. And in the second shot, you can see that in the nightscape mode, the whole photo is uh, properly done. I mean, it is, it has all the highlights and uh, the HDR has uh, done a very good job at it and it's kind of uh, given you a good photo which you can work with but not really that great i mean now if you see the third photo the pixel camera photo that it, it's done very neatly and um, you know you can see that it looks almost like daytime i've shot this at 12 o'clock midnight and you can see that um, the skies are blue and you, you will not believe that it's a night photo uh, on the uh, on the oneplus uh, 60 that is shot on so the quality in terms of um, you know the overall uh, image uh, looks similar in both the shots there's not much of degradation uh, it's kind of smoothly kind of uh, having the hdr on the pixel app and also on the oxygen os camera app um, so now next uh, let's go to the pixel camera app you get few options you get 
face retouching natural and soft timer scene options and also the flash and and again the zoom function um, basically you can also lock the function here by uh, you know the auto uh, AE lock is available you can click on that lock function and it will lock that and uh, going into the oxygen OS camera app so going into the portrait mode you get only three options here I mean it's pretty limited in the options face actually it's lesser in the front facing camera and if you see here you get a timer and uh, you also get um, this uh, I don't know what to call this uh, you kind of effect which kind of gives you hearts or um, you know stars in your photo in some weird places I'm not sure why they've added it I don't use it that well it doesn't give you a uh, good photo as well when you shoot it and also face retouching on or off and I like the oxygen OS uh, depth effect because uh, it gives you a soft blur but uh, on the pixel the blur is very harsh uh, and the edges are also kind of it like kind of looks uh, you know photoshopped uh, when I take a photo on the pixel camera app uh, but if you like this kind of blur on the pixel camera app um, definitely check it out I mean it's it's uh, it's again obviously based on preference some people prefer the pixel camera app experience so there are a lot of other modes there are panorama there is camera normal camera there's a video mode on the pixel app uh, but these are the function that I use it for um, the slow motion photo booth actually doesn't work I tried it it kind of crashes but uh, once it starts working you can also use them on the pixel camera app so guys which camera did you like did you like the OS stock camera app or the pixel camera app tell me in the comment sections below and if you found any bugs or do you need any help of mine tell me there and I'll be able to help you out that's it for this video this is Bharat here and peace out